Hey everybody, this is Mike again, and I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to set up a chest shop uh, on Mike Stark Helmet Minecraft server. Um, hopefully you've checked out our tour video and possibly some of the other tutorials on setting up a town, etc. Um, but there's often times where you want to set up your own store. So I'm going to do it out in the middle of nowhere so I don't bother anybody. Setting up a store is actually very easy, and even though Crafty's, the main store in our town, definitely has an advantage, uh, it's very easily accessible, it's got almost everything that you can possibly buy, um, some of the chests never run out, etc. You can still, uh, there's no reason why you couldn't build a, an excellent competitor. Um, we have a lot of people that have set up sh uh, shops, some of them have done very well. Um, and if you were to challenge the prices and selections of crafties, you could be a, a, a really big competitor, especially if you make it in, in an area that's easy to get to. Granted, there's a warp, but anyway. So what you need to do to set up a store is, again, you have to be a trusted player. Um, that's a promotion that you earn after a day or so. Um, so once you've played for several hours one day and then you come back some other day, uh, then we'll try to get you promoted as long as somebody who's somebody is on who can do that for you. But all you need to start out with, now I'm going to spawn some items just so that I don't have to craft them and you don't have to sit here and watch me do that. So I'm going to spawn some items. Um, you are not allowed to do this. This is purely for demonstration purposes. Um, you won't have permission to do so anyway in this world. So you need to start out with a chest. So I'm going to pick an area. Uh, let's just clear out some area here. So I'm going to place a chest now. By default, all chests are locked, so nobody else can access the contents of this chest. Now what you need to do is you need to put a sign behind it. I'll just place some dirt back here. Um, that way we have something to put a sign onto. So the first thing I need to do is figure out what we're going to sell. So let's say I've got some, uh, let's see, what are we going to go with? Uh, let's just go with some wood, 17. So let's say I've chopped down all this wood. Whew, that was hard work. Went through so many axes with that. So I've chopped down all this wood and I place it into the chest. Now I'm ready to sell. What I need to do is I need to get a sign. Again, you'd have to craft this. And I'm gonna put it up here. Now, what you type into the sign is important. You need to follow this exactly, otherwise it won't work. The first thing you need to type in is your username. So that is my username. Now I'm going to type in a quantity. What this does is it's how many items a person has to buy and sell at once. So if I type 10, they have to buy 10 logs at a time. If I type 1, 1, 64, etc. But they can only sell. This means that if they have 5 logs, they cannot sell to me until they have 10 logs. So that's the second line, the quantity. The third line is the cost that you are selling it for, a colon, and the cost that they have to buy uh, sell it to you for. So let's say I'm going to sell 10 wood for 30 bucks. Then I add a colon. Uh, spaces I don't think matter. I do it for nicety. So people will buy it from me for $30. I will buy it for people for $20. Hopefully you will all understand why you don't want to switch those and make the price that you buy it for higher than the price you sell it for. We need to make some profit, right? Uh, but I have seen that happen. I have seen a few people make that mistake. Um, so when you see a finished sign, there is a B and an S that is added automatically. You do not need to type that in. That will actually mess up the sign. So just look at this formatting and type it exactly like this. The last item is the name, <laughs> woof, is the name of the actual item you're selling. So you could type in wood or you can type in the actual number, which I think was 17. That is the item ID for wood. So I know wood will work fine if I could type today. So there we go. Username, quantity, buy price, sell price for the user, and the name of the actual item. So once you've got that in there, you can hit done. Let's make a day. Now I have a store. When somebody comes, now I'm the owner. I can't buy from my own shop. But when somebody comes here, 
they will be able to buy get out of the way cow they will be able to buy 10 wood for 30 bucks or sell it to you for 20 bucks that's it that's all you need after that you can set up pretty much any item in the entire store the only thing to note is that when you have items with a special ID for example if you're selling any of the dies you need to use the actual ID so 35 colon 6 is how you would indicate that on the last line of the sign 